Hey guys, going on? I'm at the Caveman Community again, Pale Problem Long Island, I'm at the And today's question is Should you be eating oysters for zinc? I'm the Caveman! And the answer is yes. Now, before we dive into the why, let's briefly discuss why zinc is actually important to you. So, zinc is involved as a cofactor in the action of more than 300 enzymes. So it's very metabolically important. Moreover, its deficiency is linked to impaired function of the immune system, of the reproductive system, and it's also linked to poor skin health and vision, amongst other things. But with that out of the way, unlike most of the other micronutrient videos we did, where there was some confusion regarding the most commonly recommended and the actual best source. In this case, oysters really are the best source for zinc. They provide roughly eight to nine milligrams per one ounce, which is roughly one typically sized oyster. At that rate, you're getting roughly a day's worth of zinc in one or two oysters. But other great sources include other wild caught shellfish, things like shrimp and scallops, as well as grass fed pasture raised ruminants like beef and lamb, things like mushrooms, like shiitake and criminy, Told you we'd talk about those mushrooms again. However, I would be remiss if not to mention that beet greens once again make top 20 list. You just can't get away from them. They secretly are like the healthiest food ever, maybe behind liver. Anyway, from there, other greens like spinach and asparagus are also great sources. Just make sure to at least lightly steam them in order to inactivate the phytic acid and make that zinc more bioavailable, better able to be absorbed. So the perfect meal to ensure zinc sufficiency would be a little bit of surf and turf with a couple of wild caught oysters as well as a nice piece of grass fed organic steak and maybe some asparagus with some grass fed butter sauteed onto it on the side. Another great option would be to go Mediterranean about it, maybe with some grilled lamb along with some sauteed spinach made with olive oil and a nice grass fed organic yogurt tzatziki sauce. Because Yogurt's actually a decent source as well. So the biggest takeaways are that, yes, you absolutely should be eating oysters for zinc. Now, if you are unable to eat seafood, either because you absolutely cannot handle the taste or you have a legitimate allergy to shellfish, then your next best options are gonna be those grass-fed pasture-raised ruminants, the beef and lamb, things like mushrooms, and those greens. As we said though, zinc is vitally important to ensuring proper health, so make sure you are sufficient. But if you want some more information on the importance of other micronutrients and where you can find them, take a look at these videos over here in this playlist. Either way, you know what to do. Like and subscribe down below, share it with your friends, head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island and of course over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have one for the rest of your day. Go eat some zinc and I'll see you tomorrow. Just like a Super Mario. One mushroom gets bigger, another one gets holding tight.